Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard the term LLM distillation attack and you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is? Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So there's a saying, no LLM is safe if it can be prompted. What does this actually mean? Well, let me explain. LLM distillation attacks, also known as model extraction attacks, involve extracting knowledge from an LLM by extensively querying it through prompts. These attacks exploit the model's responses to approximate a similar model, potentially compromising proprietary information and intellectual property. In simple terms, LLM distillation attacks are like copying a model's brain by asking a lot of questions and using the answers to build a less capable but similar brain. So how does a model extraction attack work and how is it a form of distillation? Well, these attacks work by sending numerous queries to an LLM and using both the input and output pairs as training data for another LLM. This process is a form of distillation where the attacker distills the knowledge from the original model into the new unauthorized model. Simply put, it's like taking a model's knowledge and squeezing it into a new model without the original creator's consent. So how are the distillation results actually used by the attacker? Well, after obtaining the input output responses, the attacker can use this data to train a new model from scratch or fine tune a pre-trained model. Typically, they'll use a pre-trained model and fine tune it using these question answer distilled results. So how capable is the new model compared to the extracted model? Well, the more question answer pairs obtained and the more compute available for training will directly determine how good the new model will perform. So if you're an LM provider, why should you care about these kind of attacks? Well, these attacks can lead to unauthorized access to sensitive data posing significant security risks. These attacks can undermine the competitive advantage of the providers that invest heavily in developing these new AI models. Essentially, if someone can copy your model, they can steal your hard work and use it for their benefit without your permission. So can LM providers protect themselves? Well, providers can't completely stop these attacks, but they can slow the attackers down by detecting them early and making stealing more expensive than just paying for it. So really, providers can eliminate being attacked, but they can raise the cost to reduce the fidelity of the attack. It's really more of an economic security game versus a purely technical one. So what are some ways of slowing the attackers down? The first area involves API controls, such as rate limiting and quota tiers and pricing. The second is identity and verification. This involves linking accounts to real world entities, so mass extraction with throwaway accounts is more difficult. Another category of approaches to slow attacks down involve query and usage monitoring. Here, suspicious query detection involves looking for extraction queries that look synthetic, diverse, or cover rare knowledge domains unnaturally evenly. If a client systematically queries across unrelated domains, such as math, trivia, law, coding, medicine, etc., it suggests data harvesting rather than normal use. Whenever any of these patterns are detected, providers can further throttle these requests or even suspend the account. Additionally, providers can put in place output restrictions. Examples here include limiting the extraction of full probability distributions. Instead, providers can only return top K tokens or text completions. Additionally, smaller context windows can be configured. The idea here is restricting context length forces more queries to extract the same knowledge, making it more difficult for the attacker. In summary, providers can implement mitigation strategies to make it harder to query the LM at scale, which is a requirement for high fidelity distillation. This in turn makes this attack approach more expensive than just licensing the model legitimately. In short, going back to the original saying earlier in the video, the simple act of an LM answering prompts inherently exposes knowledge. That's why the saying goes, no LM is safe if it can be prompted. So let me know what you think of LM distillation attacks. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I wanna hear what you think 
about this topic. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos of this place, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I share this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about this as well. And with that, have a great day, thanks.